I'm here with Dr. Romano to do a problem on carboxy acid derivatives. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, I'm professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific, and I'd like to work a problem with you that's very challenging on the derivatives of carboxylic acids. This problem is gonna involve some ACL halides, some esters, and then a decarboxylation reaction, which is a sure bet question to land in the dot. So come around and let's have a look. What I wanna do here is I gave you a compound and right here we have what is known as an acetal. So this functional group is a must have, that it's a diether and it's attached to the same carbon. So that functional group is called an acetal some in the older literature, we used to call it a ketal. Here we have two ACL halides. Now what we're gonna first do is treat it with two moles of ethanol. And then all you're gonna do is split off the HCl here, and that'll give you the OC2H5, and then you split off HCl again, and we get a diester. Now, in the next step, it says that for 60 hours, it's a few days, we're going to heat this with acid. So what we're going to do is the acid is going to break the ester linkage down the middle, and we're going to get two moles of the ethanol coming off, and we are going to get this as an intermediate. We get the two carboxy acids. Now, I put it in brackets means that 60 hours is a long time. So what's going to happen when you have acid on an acetal, both of these groups are leaving, water comes in, set up a leaving group, and it becomes a carbonyl group. So whenever you treat an acetal or a ketal with acid, you get the carbonyl compound. Here's a tricky part. Now this is an acid. Now, let's focus on one of them. It's symmetrical, so it doesn't matter which one. Let's focus on this one. It's not any old acid, though, that if this is the alpha to it, this is beta. So as you can see, this acid, which is a 1,1 dicarboxy acid, it's actually having a beta carbonyl group, which is, again, this is the main group, this is the alpha carbon, and this carbon would be beta. If you see a beta keto acid, or in this case, a 1,1 di acid, it's going to lose CO2. So if you lose the CO2 off it, you get this compound here. The COOH group is this. The other one went off as CO2. And a great name, if this is carbon 1, this is 2, this is 3, you would get 3 oxo cyclobutane carboxylic acid. And that would be the final product. That was a hard question. So you had to understand a lot of things. We did some ACL chemistry here of an ACL halide. And this was the acid hydrolysis of um, an ester. And then finally, we did the decarboxylation of a beta keto acid. All right, that'll wrap this up. I hope this will challenge you. And you'll see more questions like this in the Destroyer book. All right, bye-bye.